Botox hint, Metapod, de-evolution spray. Oh, we got a reverse holo psychic energy, which unfortunately that's worth nothing. <laughs> unfortunately. And... What? What just happened, you guys? Like... No way. What color code did we have? No. We just got error packed. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we are back with Season 4 week 3 of the MLPB where we'll be facing off against the Nottingham Nido King and Queens James and Chloe collect so if you guys have not already checked out their side of the battle Be sure to do that right now head to the link in the video description check out their side of the battle come back Check out my side and um, see what we get. So in today's battle, we're, we're facing off uh, with these the evolutions is this week. So we did Guardians Rising week one, Sun and Moon week two, evolutions is week three, Steam Siege is week four. So yeah, we're, we're doing evolutions this week. So this should be pretty hype. The potential to get some good cards from this amazing set is there. It is there, you guys. So um, for this week, I am actually the home team as well. So that means I get two competitive picks, not one. So if um, James and Chloe will only have one competitive pick, Basically, being the home team, you get the advantage. That's just how it works. So, my two competitive picks today are nice and simple. You guys will see right here, we've got Caterpie and Poliwag. Both commons. You can see just there, Caterpie is number three out of 108, I believe that is. Yep, and then we've got Poliwag, which is 23 out of 108. So, if I pull those today, I should be getting just an extra one point. So, it doesn't matter if it's reverse or exactly what you're seeing right here. It's just one extra point per card. So... That is, that is the goal. My competitive picks this week have been terrible. Actually, I'll leave them kind of just tucked in the corner for you guys so you guys can have a look-see there. Just behind the face cam. Uh, but yeah, so let's get cracking into this blister and let's see what we can get in week three of the MLPB. Sorry, I just had to keep saying that because it rhymes. <laughs> I have to keep saying it. Anyway... I have high hopes. My point, like point wise, I have not been doing the greatest in the MLPB. Like, um, we've, we've I've been seeing teams getting double digits because of their co a combination of pulls and competitive picks coming through. So I'm hoping that my competitive pick can come through for once this week. Even in season, even in season two, my competitive pick game was just terrible. I just could not get the goods when I wanted them. But um. Let's go. So we went nice and simple today. Two commons. It should be pretty easy. We should be able to get them for the extra points. Um, so let's have a quick look here at the blister because once again, it is it is just a standard blister opening at the end of the day. So let's go. So here is the Froakie coin. Pretty standard. Nothing all too fancy there. We'll just throw that up the back there. Then we've got the Brakeson promo. It's got 80 HP with Destructive Flame and Crackling Ribbon. So the promo is nothing, obviously, because we're both going to get a promo of sorts. So it's just like a freebie. But here is our three boost packs. This is going to decide whether my winning streak continues because I am on a two-win streak right now, you guys. We're going for an undefeated season right now. But we've got the Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, and Raichu. So we're going to save Charizard to last. We'll do least favorite to favorite. I'm, I'm loving Raichu at the moment on this pack art. I'm loving it right now. But um, let's go. So yeah, if you guys are keen for yet another week of the MLPB, be sure to drop a like down below and let's go let's get into this first pack here and another thing as well with um with evolutions if you do pull a secret rare like one of the kind of dodgy secret rares i guess you could call it like imakuni's do duo and stuff like that um they're zero it's zero it's just like getting an uncommon just purely because there's nothing all too hype about them just so you guys know, so if I pull them, I won't be anything. I won't be ecstatic by any means. <laughs> so we've got a Poliwag, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Poliwell, a Full Heal, Porygon. Bam! Straight off the bat, we're kicking it off with a Starmie Break. That is three points on the board. I'll take it. I'll take it. And just a Doug Trio regular rare there. So check that out. 130 HP with Break Star. I will take it. That's a good way to kick things off. 
Because if you guys didn't know, yeah, the brakes and the EXs or GXs are all uh, all three points. So that's a win. I'll take that. I will take that. Actually, did we get um did we get our competitive? Competitive? Competitive. We did. <laughs> we got an extra point there. Bam. Check that. Let's... Uh, I'll tuck that off to the side. I didn't even think of the competitive pick. I'll take it. Everyone was probably like looking at the <laughs> at the screen like, Brody, you got your competitive pick. You got it. You got it. I'll take it. So that's four points. I will take it. Alrighty. So let's get into this next pack here, you guys. Get coded. Hopefully you guys are getting the finest of pulls from those codes today. And let's see what we can get out of this pack here. So let's make sure we check for the competitive picks as well. So we got a Ponyta, Doduo, Pikachu. That was going to be my other choice, Pikachu. Um, we got a Star U, Onyx. So no, nothing there, nothing there. We got a Professor Oak's Hint, Metapod, De-Evolution Spray. Oh, we got a Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy, which unfortunately that's worth nothing. <laughs> unfortunately. And... We what? What just happened, you guys? Like... No way. What color code did we have? No. We just got error packed. <laughs> no. That's so disappointing. No. I'm heartbroken. I'm so heartbroken. We just got ripped off. So bad there. A white code pack traded off for just a star you. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm so disappointed. That sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. Alrighty, let's get into our final pack. Let's keep... Keep the good times rolling. Hopefully, hopefully this next pack is not the same as that. I don't, I don't want to repeat. That sucks so bad. The potential there, that was a white code pack. So that could have been a, an ultra rare of sorts. Oh man. I'm so butthurt about that. I'm so butthurt. So we got a Magikarp, an Electabuzz, Rattata, Growlithe, Nidoran Mail, a Slowbro Spirit Link, Brock's Grit, De-Evolution Spray, Electabuzz Reverse Hollow, just a common, and just a far-fetched regular rare. Ah, oh, that breaks my heart, you guys. Ah, oh, that breaks my heart. Like, yes, yes, it was an error pack, and that's kind of kind of exciting. But that, yeah, it's just that. An extra reverse that I didn't need. Ah oh, man, you guys. Alrighty, so let's let's have a quick recap of today's poll. So obviously we didn't get anything out of that that the only white coated pack of the of the opening. I can't believe that, you guys. I cannot believe it. So we got the Starmy Break, Polywag, four points there. Nothing all too fancy. I I'm I'm thinking James and Chloe's gonna get us this week. Oh, my heart is just broken. I just can't believe it, you guys. Alrighty. So, we got the breaks in there as well as the promo. Just rocking four points this week. That's pretty average for me. Um, I think week one we did six points. Last week was five. This week is four. So, it seems to be going downhill slowly but surely. But, um... I have the highest of hopes, like, I'm, I'm going to be a team player here. I have the highest hopes for James and Chloe Collect and the uh, Nottingham Nido King and Queens. Hopefully they get some good pulls. Hopefully they don't get an error pack like I did. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks so bad. I'm so upset. I have seen it before. I've seen, I think, Primetime Pokemon had one just recently where he opened up an Evolutions pack and got two reverses. Um, I've seen a couple of other people do it as well. And it just... It's, just so frustrating because that reverse star you could have been uh, an EX or a full art or something and we or even just a regular rare would have been better than a, a reverse common star you like I don't, I, I don't know you guys let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below have you guys opened evolutions and got a um an error pack of sorts just like that I've I've recently got a steam siege error pack as well where I got evolutions inside of a steam siege booster pack which is kind of wild 
But yeah, let's wrap up this week of the MLPB. So just rocking four points. Good luck to James and Chloe Collects from the Nottingham. Nottingham and Nido King and Queens. Be sure to go check out their side of the battle if you guys have not already. Link is in the video description alongside the point system and any info you need to know about the MLPB. But with that, th with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.